man, Wilmington, our rookie of the year, our seven foot five, small four, however you want to say, handles on um, defense, mid range, shoot the three, rebounds. Um, he can guard one through five. Our boy, man, he just declined an invite from Drake to get on stage with Drake, man. Reason being is that because he, the rest of his teammates couldn't come on stage, apparently. Somebody got to school Wilmington, man. Like, um, we, we know a lot of these NBA players, they do stuff off the court. They affect they, um, what they do on the court. For like getting in trouble or, you know, doing movies or whatever, you know, finance or hanging out with people. Wilmington, you should have got on stage with Drake, man. You got to understand, um, you been a basketball, a great basketball player. That comes with being around um, high-profile A-list celebrities, doing movies, um, being around rappers, being around, um, you know, just expanding, man. Look, look at Jordan. Jordan. Jordan is so popular off the court. He, he, he just as popular off the court as he is on the court. So I, I understand the loyalty you have for your team and organization. That's great. But you got to understand, you going on a stage with Drake, getting that publicity, and um, basically mingling with an A-list star like that, you're doing it for your team. You're doing it for your family. You're doing it for the organization. Because you, you ain't supposed to have been did that, man. But I get what you're saying, man. You want your squad, the team with you. But you the star. You the one, it's a reason why he picked you to come on stage because you the star, man. You the you gonna be Rick of the Year. Um, you the Frenchman, so I don't know how they do in France, but in America, man, you gotta take advantage of those um collabs or those you know, you supposed to be, you supposed to be on stage, man. Seven foot five, man. Who would have loved to see that? And um, who knows, Drake probably would have been courtside at your games, man. You know how he is with the Raptors, he think you would think he's Jim at the Raptors or whatever. Um, but. Wilmington, man, you, you you blew you blew it, man. Drake probably would have mentioned your name in songs. You could have, you know, you could have been around OVO, like like you could have been. That was part of networking, if you get what I'm saying. But I understand you young, but you supposed to be networked there with Drake. You know, you see what's going on with the beef he got going on with Ross and all this stuff. You see the J Cole and Kendra. You see all this stuff. And not to say you supposed to get in the mix, but I'm saying you supposed to have been, um, you know. Got up with Drake, that Drizzy, you know? He was one of the top artists in the world, to be honest, especially in the United States. But um, nonetheless, if you feel how you feel, every man, you know, got their own morals and principles. But I feel like you should have did that, man, just to network, just to um, make your fame, your stardom go up even more, man, if you want to be up there with the greats. Because LeBron, they good off the court. He a married man, all type of business, man. They, they like... Um, when it comes to being an athlete, it's more than just, they, they take them more than just, you know, hooping, man. They do stuff off the court as far as having their own organization and their gyms and stuff and camps. But shout out to Wilmington, man. Shout out to Drake. Y'all know what it is, man. Stay tuned.